everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we'll be doing our Paycheck to Paycheck um, weekly budget and it'll be from May 16th through the 22nd. I've already went in and highlighted just to put a little color. Oh, but first let's do a review. Okay, you guys, this review is not that great, but um, I didn't post last week. I actually did a video, but I just never uploaded it because for one, it was late. And then when I, well, when I recorded, it was late. And then when I decided to post it, it was like Saturday and I was like, uh, never mind. Plus I just wasn't feeling my best. And I felt like I just came across not feeling my best. So anywho, you guys look at this. We only made $540 last week. We projected $750, but these are the things that got paid. Um, Capital One, I actually, it was due the 15th, so it takes about two days, so that'll be coming out of this week's um, pay. So it said $520, and mm, we came in a little under that, of course, without the 50 so it's just subtract 50 so we were able to make our bills. Um, we wasn't able to give more to T-Mobile or Barclays, which comes out this week, and this is a tough week. And then I did let, the week before that, I didn't post, I don't think, and we made $555. You guys, I don't know what's going on, um, but we were able, as you can see, to pay everything. I thought Uplift was due, but Uplift wasn't. It actually came out last week. Um, let me put that on here. And it was around thirty-eight fifty-seven. Okay, and Canva. I think Canva came out. Uh, let me check that off. So we projected five hundred and three dollars. Um, like again, Uplift didn't come out. Canva did. So we again were able to cover our bills. Right. But money was short, and I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. I've used my credit cards again to kind of survive. And I'm, I'm just scared to see what they look like. Um, I'm going to, well, let me go to the monthly. So I'm going to leave my monthly open so that I can see what is due. Okay, so we have hair, Norris Cove, nails, and miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. I returned some items to Walgreens that gave me $39. So I'm going to add that. Um, nails, zero. Norris Cove, I'm putting zero because um, I did a new release last week. Nothing sold. I'm thinking of doing is working on some things this week. And then hair, um, I'm going to project 600. I got to go. I hate to go back low, but it's not looking good. Okay. <laughs> it's not looking good. So let's see what we can pay with $639. Let's see. It is the 16th. So I'm going to put here the 17th because that's when Capital One will be coming out. So Cap I've already paid it. The money is in the bank. And I gave them 50 because I was spending part of that credit card. Um, also on the 17th, which is today. Yeah, my budget is late. Um, Planet Fitness comes out. I don't have the money for them. I don't know what to tell them. Um, I think that's $23. That I have written down here. Oh, I gotta pay Citibank. Thank God I came down here to do this. Citibank. Uh, I think Citibank, I can give them like 40. Put that. 18th, Barclays. This pen is not doing well. Um, Barclays, I know, I think the minimum is 70 something dollars. I'm gonna do the minimum, put 75 because that's all I have. On the 20th, we have Car Note. And that's 181.60, y'all. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be in the negative, I already kinda know. Uh, 21st, T-Mobile. And T-Mobile is 209, okay? And then also on the 21st, we have Booth Rent. And that is $250. Let's add this up. We have a total of $828.60. <sighs> we 
where? Where is it, okay? <laughs> it's not here, okay? And we're going to subtract it by 639. 189.60 is what the difference is. So we're in the negative by almost $200. <sighs> I tell you. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I don't know if I've been this far in the negative in a while. So what I like to do when I do kind of get see myself being in the negative, like what's not going to get paid? And I'm going to tell you, the first thing would be T-Mobile. I can pay them on a... I hate, I've just got caught back up with paying them on time, and I hate to be late, but they would be the first that I'd pay late because I know I have a grace period. Um, the credit cards, they're going to get paid. Planet Fitness, it may or may not get paid, but it's a little amount of money, so, you know, I know that's going to get paid. My car note definitely needs to be paid, and, of course, a booth rent. I have to have somewhere to work. So, this is it, you guys. We're in the negative. Um, let me see if I have a red. I do. A red marker here. Yeah, here we go. 181.69 is what we're in the negative by. <sighs> I don't know. Like I said, times like this, these are just certain things that just won't get paid. Now, what I can do, I can give like T Mobile $50. $100, whatever I have extra until I get caught up. I just I just got caught back up. So I'm trying to figure out where I went wrong. <laughs> where did I go wrong? I've dipped into my savings. I no longer have savings. I thought today I do have some money in my cash envelopes um, that I've just left in there. I think I'm just going to empty them out. That was just for my last cash envelope stuffing. And I'm going to start over with the cash envelopes to help cover some of these bills. I don't think I have a good $100 in there, but whatever I have in there, I'm just going to empty that out. That will help with something, especially these credit card bills. And if you've been watching for a while, Barclays is like my worst credit card that I have. It is the highest credit card that I pay and I need to get that down. So we'll be playing Barclays, paying Barclays for sure. And we can't really skip any credit cards. I don't like to skip credit cards, um, but that's it. Card note has to be paid because that comes out of my bank account. So that's an automatic withdrawal. So definitely I'll take the money from the cash envelopes and put it in my account to help cover that coming out. Now I do have clients the rest of the week but I just don't never know how it goes. Like yesterday, I had two clients to cancel. And they canceled one because of the rain, one because their hair was itching. I mean, crazy. But anyway, nonetheless, let's just put it in here. I know y'all cannot wait. I can't wait for next week's review to see how this goes. So prayerfully, all goes well. And things will get paid. Um, what I've done, this is an old insert. It is in my financial bundle. And I just use that to kind of keep track of my monthly bills. I should be working on a new financial bundle. And I'm definitely going to do one for my entrepreneurs. But for now, this is what we have. So if you've purchased the financial bundle, you would need to get the paycheck weekly check-in. That is not included as of now. But you would need to get the paycheck weekly check-in and the monthly budget breakdown. Here's that. You would need to get those separate to complete the bundle. But the bundle is jam-packed with a lot of stuff. So that is that. Um, again, I'll try to remember to put this Paycheck Weekly, um, the link to it from my shop in the description bar. Um, and you can just check that out. But that's it, you guys. That's all I have for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. I got to keep showing up. That's all I can do. Just keep showing up. <laughs> just keep budgeting. And it'll work out. Still make goals. Still make plans. I'm not discouraged because I've been here before. And I know that things will work out. So I don't want y'all to think I'm in distress because <laughs> I'm not. Um, I've been here before. Things will work out. And we'll, we'll, we'll get this budgeting down. As you can see, I struggle sometimes. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're not. So it's okay. It'll get taken care of. 
And if I have a word for you in your financial journey, when you run across times like this, maybe document it and see how you handle it and how things worked out. That is why creating a budget. It doesn't have to be um, paper budgeting. It can be digital budgeting, but make sure you're making notes. Um, that's why you see sticky notes and stuff all through um, my budgets because I can see how things worked out, what got paid, um, what may have ro arose. So really, if I go back, I can kind of see where I messed up, you know, or what happened in my budget. Like I said, when I got my taxes, I paid a lot of my credit cards down and that really increased my score. But now I'm having to go back to the credit cards to kind of survive a little bit. So take note of that. As a matter of fact, let me write, make that note here. I'm going to put it in last week's budget. So again, always make sure that you're documenting anything in your budget, whether you traveled, whether there was a baby shower and you had to get a gift or something. I always put those things in my budget and that will let me know like where my money went. Because a lot of times we don't know where our money went, but if we make those small mini notes to ourselves, we can kind of trace our money. So I hope today's video was informative. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did and you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so that you can come back for more content for myself, more budgeting, more planning, minimal planning, DIYs, all that great stuff. I would love to have you here. Let me know that you're new in the comments and I would love to welcome you to The Cove. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.